All right, pass or fail. Obviously, you can see the tub. You can see the flood level rim of the tub. What's wrong other than that? I drilled a hole in the plate before I was paying attention to what was actually going on. Or maybe the stud was in the way and I didn't communicate with the carpenter about, hey, I need space for my shower valve. Whatever the case may be, there's a hole there that needs to be fire stopped that was obviously put there because I guess I'll just start drilling holes and not realize that, shit, if I put a pipe there, I'm going to run into my own shower valve. I'll just move it over and drill another hole so I have room to get fittings in. And oh yeah, by the way, I'll drill a 2 and 9 16 inch hole and totally destroy the strength of the stud for an inch and a half pipe that only needs a 2 and an eighth inch hole. And during all that, as I destroy the house and turn it into switch cheese, plumbing inspector is going to come in and go, what? Can't do that. You turned the vent well below the flood level rim. Yeah. You turned it horizontally way below the flood level rim. So if somebody fills up this tub with water, kids are in there splashing around, water's going on the floor. You pull the stopper and water seeks its own level in the drainage system right there. And now all of a sudden the water completely fills up that for a few minutes with hair and soap, all kinds of scum. And it happens every time until as the water drains out, some of the stuff starts just laying in that horizontal portion. And pretty soon, after a number of times, it fills up. And now you have no vent. That's why you never, ever turn a vent horizontally before you get above the six inches above the flood level rim. What could the plumber have done here? Well, he's already, like, destroyed the house. But... If I put two 45s on there, everything is vertical because if water did still come up that high, which it would have, it's going to drain out and carry everything with it. Not going to leave any solids behind. This was a rough inspection on a renovation. That was a failure. Well, I can't do anything. I'm like, that's not my fault. You did not scope this out right because you didn't know what you really were doing until you just started putting a drill into the studs and in the floor. There's always a way to do things right. Always. Don't tell me there isn't. I lived it for over 40 years now. It just takes communication and laying things out a little bit different. Are those nail plates okay to use? They look like electrician's nail plates. With plumbing those striker plates, those nail plates are fine. With this stuff, not so much. Couldn't use those right there with the, this stuff here. But this is a whole different animal of a different color. A horse of another color.